Now that we've created the tin, we can explore information from the model. First thing we're going to do is construct a line of sight analysis from different viewpoints. A line of sight is a line between two points on a surface illustrating parts of the line that are visible or not visible from a specific viewpoint. The line of sight tool is located on the 3D Analyst toolbar. Here in ArcMap, we put this toolbar here in our last exercise. Line of sight button is this eye and arrow icon right here. We're going to click that. Line of sight window comes up. First, we're going to make an observer offset, which is in meters, if our tin is in meters, which it is. So this is basically the height of the observer, let's say two. Then the target offset is going to be the height of the target above the surface. For example, if you want to know whether or not an observer can see the top of a 50 meter tall wind turbine, your target offset would be 50. We're going to keep it at zero. Let's move this off to the side. Next, we're going to click the observer location on our tin. So let's activate our viewpoints layer. Let's zoom to this layer, right click, zoom to layer. And let's say this is our viewpoint, click here. And then our next point we click is the target point right there. Now, the parts of the line that end up green are visible to the viewer and the red parts of the line indicate that they're not visible to the viewer. The black dot on the line is the observer point and if the other end of the point is green, then it is, vis then it is visible by the observer. If it is red, then the end of the line of sight is not visible. A blue dot, as seen here in the line, indicates the obstruction point in your line of sight. Now, clicking on the mountain icon on the 3D Analyst toolbar, right here, they call it point profile, but here it's profile graph, will show you the same information, but with elevation and distance data as well. In order to select another line, so let's say we've made another line, to our line of sight, let's exit out of this, here to here, we have another line of sight, and click the profile graph, see it again. In order to select another line, we just click the arrow key, and click that, and then we can view the profile graph again. Next, we are going to create a viewshed analysis. The viewshed tool allows you to define the visible extent of an area as seen from a defined viewpoint. In order to do this, we first have to convert our tin to a raster. Let's close out this. We'll just click delete to delete that line. And then we are going to find the from tin tool. Our toolbox conversion from tin. I'm going to go tin to raster. So that's in 3D analyst conversion from tin. Double click tin to raster. So click and drag from there. We're going to choose an output location for our raster. Put it in this tutorial, geodatabase. We'll call it tin raster. Save. We are going to select a cell size under about 10 meters. It's going to be under sampling distance. Just change that to 10. 20 meters would be a faster process. Um, it's going to be coarser, so we're going to go with 10. Leave everything else as is and say OK. OK. Our raster data set is complete. If you would like to change the color gradient, you can do so in your table of contents. You just click on the color gradient right here. You can select, but let's view it first. Uncheck your tin. And let's delete this line of sight, click it, press delete, we have the arrow selected so we can do that. We'll right click, zoom to layer, and here it is, you'll notice, you can see the gradient looks similar to our tin, that's good. Clicking this gradient, we can choose a different one, I kind of like this one because the low levels are blue, much like they're water, the high levels are white, kind of like the mountains. We can use the information arrow again to check our elevation, click here, right on our raster, in raster about 740 similar to round where we were before that's great makes it out of here now we are going to create the view shed we are going to open our toolbox click 3d analyst tools click visibility and double click the view shed tool we're going to drag the raster that we just created and put it into the input raster box we're going to drag our viewpoint layers into the input point or polyline observer features. If you have more than one viewpoint, like we do, we are going to do this first view shed analysis using only one of the points. 
So let's open the attribute table by right clicking on our viewpoints layer. Go to open attribute table. Here it is. We're going to click here to select one of the points. And then we are going to put this down here out of our way. We're going to drag this into here. Again, find a good place to put this raster. We guessed it. And here, let's call this view shed one. Save. Then we are going to click OK. All of these are good. Say OK. And we wait. OK, so that's completed. We'll press close. And the view shed should appear on our map. Just move to layer. We let it load. From this viewpoint, these are the only areas on our map that would be visible to the observer. In order to adjust the observer height, of our viewpoint layer. We are going to right click on the viewpoint layer in our catalog. Here's our catalog. Here's our viewpoint layer. And we're going to select properties. Go to the field tab and add a short integer called offset A. So click here under field name, all in capitals, offset A. This has to be the name of the field exactly because it will trigger a program within the 3D analyst extension. Data type short integer, say OK. Then we are going to turn the editor on. Editor, start editing. We're going to open the attribute table for the viewpoints layer. Right click, open attribute table. And change the offset A column to match the observer height at each point. So let's say we want our observer, let's say that we're standing on a platform and it is five meters. We can change all of them to five meters. We can even make this one six. We go back to editor, stop editing. Yes, we want to save our edits. And in order to see the result of the new observer heights, we would have to recreate the view, the view shed entirely. 